Welcome to Penguin Island. This morning we are climbing a volcano. <laughs> After landing on continental Antarctica, the Vavilov is headed towards the tiny Penguin Islands, part of the South Shetland Islands. This little rock in the ocean is only about a square kilometer and belongs to no one. All countries part of the Antarctic Treaty are free to use the island for non-military purposes. life jackets off up here and then we're guided as groups. So you're going to join up with these folks and we'll start taking you up to the peak, Mount Penguin, right up to the very top. At least get up to the rim. It's a gorgeous view. We've got three hours. We've got plenty of time. Just take your time. You can all do it. But on the way back, uh, we do have a few elephant seals here worth visiting. We also have some more lined up for this afternoon. Now these rocks are not slippery but very uneven terrain. Take your time, small steps, no rush, okay? So to get out, slide up as high as you can, both sides all the way up as high as you can. You come up as high as you can, spin your legs towards the engine. This island is an important bird area with over 600 giant petrels breeding on the slopes. Chinstrap penguins, gentoo penguins, Antarctic terns and kelp gulls are also nesting on the beach. We take a beautiful hike up to the crater of the volcano. The volcano here is called Deacon Peak and was last active 300 years ago. The views are spectacular from up here. The Vavilov is parked in the shallow reefs of the bay below. The water is like steel glass, reflecting the huge glacier and snow fields. After days of stormy seas, it's the first time we see the surface of Antarctica so quiet. When it's time to go, I walk down the beach and wait for the last zodiac. It's just so gorgeous here. Those giant pebbles make you want to sit and tune in to the sound of the waves and the rush of the wind. A curious little chinstrap penguin comes to check me out. Hello, little guy. What an extraordinary life you live down here, at the bottom of the earth. For a minute, I want to be a penguin too. Jump from rock to rock and swim in the vast ocean. I envy their ability to adapt and live in such harsh conditions. There's something to be said about watching penguins hop around the boulders. You cannot help but smile and feel happy. The rest of the world disappears. This continent is the harshest and most remote place on Earth. Yet right now, it feels so peaceful. The last zodiac is here, but we are all lingering around, trying to hold on to as much details of the landscape, the taste of the ocean, and the feeling of the beach. Our youngest polar explorer is building a snowman. Oh, I have a photo of you next to it. Oh, 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 we zoom over the reef back to the Vavilov. We get aboard to discover that a surprise barbecue party is waiting for us on the deck. The sky opens up to a sunny, beautiful day. It's wonderful to sit in the sun and enjoy some food, music, and even dancing. is so good and the seas are so calm. So our crew opens up the jacuzzi, 
Did I tell you the Vavilov has an outdoor jacuzzi? What a cool feature! The day could not be any better, up until we are joined by whales! Fin whales are following our ship and playing in the waves. Oh my god! <laughs> And look at the sunset, it's magical. Tonight, around the bar, we're talking about superstitions. Every night we gather here to reflect on our day and have some fun talks led by our crew. Church and anything associated with churches, priests, ministers, death. It's bad luck on board. <laughs> Right? You can see that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not good. Not good. Boris. Oh, goodness. Um, I've also heard, though, if you do collide glasses, you accidentally collide glasses while you're cheating because it's the norm off the ship and they start ringing, you can just put your hand over the top and that saves the soul of a sailor. Now, oh, kind of negate the negative effect of the church bells at that point in this long. Right, That's what we heard. <laughs> so what if you're out in a sailing ship, think yourself 200 years back in time, and it's misty, you have no engine, you're a sailing, ship, sailing vessel only, and you hear a church bell. What is wrong? Too close to land. Too close to land. You are right. So it is really bad luck to hear a church bell once on a ship. Right on. I'm sure you have one, man. What about if anybody likes to start their morning off, they're really happy by whistling. Back in the old sailing days, when the bosun, the chief sailor, would uh, communicate to raise or lower sails, they'd use uh, whistling techniques. So different whistles meant either raise a sail or lower a sail or trim the jib, things like that. So if somebody was whistling, they might be whistling the wrong tune, and then somebody will put up a sail, and it could spell disaster out at sea. Sending the wrong signals. Sending the wrong signals, hence the term also whistling up a gale. The Vavilov is navigating overnight towards Elephant Island. The island played a big part of Shackleton's endurance journey. It's one of the world's greatest rescue missions in history, and I am thrilled to experience this place for myself. We wake up surrounded by fog. It's impossible to navigate our ship safely close to shore. So this is all we're going to see of Elephant Island. A large silhouette of land lost in the fog. This is Antarctica for you. This place is wild and unpredictable. The next three days we are bracing ourselves for a long ocean journey through some rough waters. We're about to cross over 1,300 kilometers or 800 miles. And like Shackleton, we're hoping to land on the South Georgia Islands. In the meantime, since Christmas is only a few days away, the Vavilov is getting festive. Our floating ship is turned into a Christmas wonderland. We're decorating our tree, cutting snowflakes, and there's also a gingerbread competition. I've never made anything out of gingerbread, but I'm up for the challenge. Kirsten and Karen invite me to join their team. I invite Lisa and Sabina from Austria, who invite Mike from the US, who in turn gets Melissa from the US and Leo from China to join in, followed by Alex from the US, Peter from Denmark and Mark from the UK. Kirsten steps in as our gingerbread construction leader. She prepares blueprint drawings, a master builder plan and supervises our jobs. Our theme is Christmas of the Endurance. We recreate the ship, the icebergs, gingerbread penguins, and even a gingerbread whale. But let me leave it to Kirsten to introduce you to our masterpiece. We're having a good Christmas, because we're not yet stuck. Shackleton is on the top here with his traditional hat, showing the way. We have a lookout and some cameras that are going to be celebrating with their Christmas tree inside the boat. You'll also notice the garland that stretches around the back of the boat. Festivities garland was common for this time, and they are using it. We also have a couple of icebergs, and they're breaking through the ice on their way with penguins, complete with guano. Want to be? We also have a brown whale here, a precursor to the blue whale. It has gone extinct. So check it out while you can. And then in the back there, there's a red owl seal giving us its soulful gaze with its eyes. 
Um, and don't forget the detail on the anchor and the chain. Christmas on the Endurance, 1914, presented by McNeish's Carpenters. Because McNeish was the carpenter. <laughs> There was a jury that took their role very seriously. It was a lot of fun! Here's some of the other gingerbread creations. The most difficult part of the competition was carrying our gingerbread boats from the restaurant on level 3 to the bar on level 6 on a moving boat in the middle of the southern ocean. Remember I showed you how steep some of the staircases are? The honor and wrecking nerves of carrying our boat intact fell on Mike, a former sailboat racer with the funniest sense of humor and obviously a great sense of balance. The gingerbread made it to floor 6 and we even won first place, yeah! <laughs> What a day! What a trip! What a cool ocean crossing! The next step of our journey are the impressive South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands. Be prepared to witness fantastic landscapes, an abandoned whaling station, and lots of fur seals! South Georgia, here we come! Mm -hmm. 